Okay, here we have a picture where our model's got a bad pose. Uh, she's kind of slouching a little bit and it makes it look like she's got a little bit of a, a stomach here. So we're going to go and clean that up and adjust her pose. So what we want to do is we're going to use the puppet tool. But before we do that, we want to make sure that we're not working on a background because this is flattened and we can't move it. We need to convert this to a regular layer. The quickest way I know to do that is hit the Alt or the Option key, double click. And there we go, just converts it to layer zero now. And we can go ahead and use our tool. So let's go to the edit tool and we're gonna go down to the puppet warp. And here we see our little uh, frame here. This is showing you know where we can add our, our mesh, where we can add our points. So what we wanna do is we wanna start adding some points or some pins. So we wanna put one here and because we want to lock this down, we don't want anything to move outside of this area right now. So let's just put some around here in these areas where I want to lock this down. So I'm just going to go around there and lock it down all the way to here. Now, why don't we make some points here that we may want to adjust? And then we'll set another one here. And then at this point, what we can do is we can select multiple points here. We can select a point by clicking on it. If you hold the shift key, we can select multiples. We can hide the mesh now just by clicking up here. And then we can just gently pull this back and start to reshape. Now, if you don't like what's happening here, just hit the shift key, turn that one off, and then we'll just pull these two in right now. Or we can select individual ones just by simply clicking and you can see how we can do that. But you be a little bit careful because you don't want these to move in a way that's um, unnatural to create pinching. So we can kind of pull these in a little bit. Let's pull that one down. Let's pull this one down a little bit too just to make it a little bit more natural. And we can actually you know, play with that area there and see how we can really change this, push it back increase her posture a little bit. Let's put her shoulders back a little bit. Pop that in like that and see how we can just really change this. This is a lot of fun. Uh, you can get very carried away. You don't want to get too carried away and make her where she looks anorexic. And see how we can just change her posture right there as well. It's, it's really fun. I, I, I like this tool. And then when you're ready to apply it, just hit the Enter key and then we can look. What have we got? We can go before and after. You can see how we've really kind of cleaned that up a little bit. Now, the other thing we can do too is if we want, we can go in and we can do a little bit of uh, finalizing here by using the liquify. So we go into here and we're going to go to the liquify tool here. And uh, let's grab a big, big, big brush here. And then we can just simply just drag just very, very gently here. And then we can, suddenly we've got perfectly flat stomach so we're just kind of just shaping her a little bit let's take this down a little bit there's a little bit pinching there see we're just cleaning up that pinching there we go and then if we look at this uh we want to compare this and also just so you know too we can use a uh, pressure sensitive tablet on here so let's just click ok to apply it and there we go we've just gone and clean that up really nicely um, and of course you know when it comes to the ethical side of that I'll let you decide what's right and what's wrong as far as um, reshaping people's bodies I'm just teaching you the techniques here right now so because um, I know it's a very controversial topic right now so when you do that be careful not to overdo your retouching because uh, if you start overdoing it you know you some of your work can start to come into question so be a little careful